I want you to think about this. Today is July the 2nd. It is what it is. It would be, you would count it silly if I stood before you today to make an argument that today was July the 4th. That would be a silly argument. Now, you could drive all around the city and you might think that it is actually July the 4th. You could be trying to go to bed late at night and think it certainly is July the 4th. Every neighbor in the neighborhood thinks it's July the 4th, but no, today is July the 2nd. Things are as they are, not as they appear to be. And I want, you, I want this to sink in. I want this to land upon you in a squareness. I want, the, I want the, the reasonableness of this to sit upon you. Here's why I want to make a, an argument from this that today is July the 2nd, not July the 4th, for you to see the seriousness and the weightiness of how things are, not as they appear to be. It does appear. Now today, statistics would, would, would begin to weigh in that things are as they are, and that's the way they're going to be. I want to be careful in this, but I want you to follow all the way through this. Today, not only is it July the 2nd, it is also July the, July the 2nd of 2017. You live in Twin Falls, Idaho, not Des Moines, Iowa, or anywhere in Iowa for that matter, as most of the world seems to think that's where you live. <laughs> no, it's as they are, you live here. It's on this date, it's at this place, it's, it's at this location. You are at 204 Eastland Drive North. This is the way it is. Things are as they are. Now, one could falsify the data, and this would be an immoral or an unethical thing to do. For anyone to come along and falsify the data, to falsify the information, to falsify, to persuade or to lead you astray from how things are, and to put you in a position to where they want you to think things are. And they come along with falsified data to give evidence to persuade you this is the way it is. And so, because this is the way the majority of Americans think, or this is the way the majority of professing Christians think, that apparently that's the way you ought to think. They come along and they falsify the data. The data is true. This is a shift that has clearly happened. But the misuse of the data, the misuse of the information is where the danger lies is somehow to persuade you, to somehow convince you that you must set your God aside and embrace a new God. This is the way that is, this is the shift that is clearly happening. But can I tell you, there is, there is a greater danger. We, we, would, we should call out that as immoral and unethical behavior of those who would want to come along and persuade you out of your convictions against your conscience to fit the majority's opinion. A greater disservice as that would be if the church were to come along and falsify biblical truth. And now the falsification and the, the, the misuse of that data and the misuse of that as unethical and immoral as that behavior is, it would be a worse behavior because now we're dealing with the damning of a soul to all of eternity. That is a kind of immorality. That is a kind of unethical behavior that the church must never entertain as to keep the crowds or to entice those who do not want to embrace truth. Anytime we set aside biblical truth in order to maintain or gather more numbers, we are in the same kind of damning work that Jude is warning the church of here. Can I encourage your letting the book of Jude do the work of a file on your spiritual teeth. Something needs to happen to the church. If, if this good work doesn't get done, the church will live in malnourished conditions. She will, she will continue to eat. She will continue to do her work. She will continue to take up landscape. But as time moves on, she gets weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker, weaker and weaker, until someone has enough guts to go to the toolbox, pull out a file, and begin the filing work once again on the teeth of the church. 
Church, there is no activity of getting your teeth filed that seems like it's something you woke up today thinking, I need my teeth filed. I got to get to the church as quick as I can. But can I say to you, I think this kind of good work needs to happen 